How much does gold membership affect your experience in that frontier? How much does it actually help you in improving your skills and the difficulty of the game? In today's video, we'll be discussing about that today. Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Armando and welcome back to another Dead Frontier video, guys. So guys, before anything, I just want to apologize for the one month break. A lot of things happen. I'll be uploading that in the next week's video or maybe this week's video. I'm not too sure. Let's see how my schedule is. But yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, you guys are going to learn about my personal life in that video. So if you're interested, just give it a click when it comes out. Also, as well, guys, I'll be also uploading the Forest videos once again. So to the few that watch it, I hope you're very... Uh, you tuned for that because honestly i'm gonna put a lot more soul and heart into that video because you know those videos are honestly fun to edit the screaming the experience just the funny moments in that game i just love love editing it because i can do so much with that gameplay but that's not to say i won't be uploading that frontier of course i mean looting videos are coming back uh topics like these that you know many people always ask in the forums are coming back it's just gonna be a fun year for us so like i said hope you guys keep on following me you know hopefully keep on supporting my videos and of course it'll be coming out every week maybe hopefully once or twice a week because again personal life school college work blah 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 but anyway like i said let's get right into the topic at hand so gold membership guys we all know that, you know, some people hate us because we have gold membership. Some people just say, oh, you're only on top because you have gold membership. But I always ask these people, how much of an effect does gold membership really, really uh, do to your gameplay? I mean, to be honest, it's not to say that gold membership doesn't help a player once whatsoever, because honestly, in this hardcore series that me and Fran are doing, it does get a little tough at times, you know, but of course, with every week, there's an event, so that kind of helps lessen the burden of having to go out for 10 hours a day, try to find something, try to kind of like survive in a sense, because honestly, non-gold members really do have it tough out here. They have to go out, they have to work harder than the average gold member player or, you know, those that have a credit card. <laughs> but yes, it is more difficult to survive without gold membership. So let's look at the pros and the cons of each one. So we'll start off with the non-gold members. Pros, the game is more difficult. You think, how is that a pro, Armando? That doesn't make the game any more fun. But when you think about it, when there's no challenge in the game, it just makes the game very boring. I mean, think about it. I had plenty of hiatus moments in Death Frontier because honestly, the game got too easy. I went out, I looted for 10 hours. You know, I never died because the weapons I used were very overpowered. For example, dust mags, uh, boom, uh, boomer, grenade launchers, wraith cannon, dusk, uh, dusk enforcer. So, I mean, I didn't have to buy any more ammo. The weapons I had were overpowered. It killed things in one or two shots. And I just said, man, this shit got boring. So I pretty much just stopped playing the game altogether. And therefore, I just honestly lost you guys because you were seeing i wasn't uploading as much so again the pro for non gold members go membership is that it makes the game more challenging so while you know the gold members are having an easier moment out there i mean you're still struggling but that was kind of helps with the gameplay you know you gotta loot more you gotta have better equipment so therefore you gotta go out and kill bosses you gotta grind more than the average you know player so again this is a good pro for non gold memberships the other pro is i mean you're real life money won't be in danger i mean you've seen people out there take out their credit cards and spend 500 dollars on a wraith cannon i mean don't get me wrong it's your money but 500 bucks for a pixel game i mean any game to be honest that's just insane i mean unless i was a youtuber making 2k a month i that wouldn't hurt me because i'm like every month i'm making 2k a month but for your average joe that works in real life and has to pay that out of pocket if you can afford it do your thing man but i'm not one to waste 500 dollars out of my own pocket wait a minute Nah, the Wraith Cannon was gifted to me. Again, thank you to the Wolf Gaming. It's been over two, three years since I got that Wraith Cannon. I'll never forget you as well as made in joke. Again, shout out to you guys for the thousand of time. I'll never forget that thing you guys did for me. But yeah, guys, back to the topic at hand. Yeah, your wallet or your pocket won't feel a hole in there because you're not spending real life money in this game. You're going through hell and back to get you where you are. So like I said, I respect non-gold members more because they're honestly putting in the work in the game. They're not relying on gold membership. They're not relying on... You know, the credits they get every month, and of course, they're just actually playing the game. How it's supposed to be played. An online zombie survival game, where of course you gotta go out, find food, find ammo, find weapons, and honestly, that's what keeps the game fun. Before the whole, you know, pay to win aspect back in 2D, or 3D, I'm sorry, uh, I mean, the game was honestly fun. 2D was just so much fun. It was a very, very simple game, you know, little uh, non-graphical amazing game, but it was just the fact that the experience 
was amazing. You didn't have to get have non gold. You didn't have to have gold memberships to get far in the game. Every weapon was was more or less leveled, so of course it made more sense to grind it rather than buy the game and you know spend a lot of money on it. But of course, over the years we've seen that 3D more or less became a very much or obviously it's very obvious that it became a very pay to win game. So that's why a lot of players kind of quit the game. They didn't see the sense in you know spending 80 hours a week or not even that. I'm guessing it, but they didn't see the sen the sense in putting so many hours into a game. Where it took them forever just to get to level 100. Last but not least for the pro of non-go non members is they can honestly learn to find better ways of making money. So of course, like I said, non-go members, I have more respect for them because they honestly learn how to play the game. And in this scenario, if you can't make, if you can't buy the money in Dead Frontier, why not learn how to like flip it? For example, entrepreneurs, you find an item or you buy an item for cheap, you sell it for more. And these people, they will never ever suffer if they know how to play that game. Just like in real life, you buy something for cheap, you sell it for more. Entrepreneuring. So again, these players honestly, I feel like learn know how to play the game more because they learn how to sell things, how to loot things, and how to survive more properly. Because again, they don't have overpowered, uh, you know, armor, weapon, drugs. They pretty much rely on their instincts and on their skills to in order to survive in the Death Frontier apocalypse. So of course, like I said, the pros are you guys get more experience, you guys know how to play the game, and you guys actually know how to survive out there. So. Again, just because you're a non-gold member, don't give up on the game. It's pretty fun when you have no nothing to kind of boost you. I mean, granted, every weekend there is an, uh, an event. So therefore, I mean, you're not really suffering as back then. Because back then, dude, there was no, you know, weekend boost or event. It was just pure, you know what, you have a non-gold member. You're getting no boost, there's no drugs. You just got to grind the hell out of this game. But now Admin pretty much got a little bit more lenient to kind of save the community he has left. And honestly, I can respect that. So he wants to get everybody more or less an even playing field. But of course, he's still trying to go for people to have a reason to buy gold memberships. So of course, you know, he kind of has to keep it, you know, non-gold members here and gold members on top. So you can kind of see it from a business standpoint why, you know, this game is more or less kind of a little bit of pay to win. Well, not kind of a little pay to win a lot. But again, Ami needs to make his money. So therefore, he kind of can't make the game too easy. He has to make it hard for the non-gold members. And of course, we're going to go to three cons real quick. Of course, obviously, non the three cons of being a non-gold members membership is progress. Of course, you're not making as much money as a gold membership. Last but not least, looting gets very boring. After a while, I mean, if you can't find any level 110s or even barely 100s, the game just gets very stale when it comes to looting. So therefore, many non-gold members just learn how to, you know, become an entrepreneur. They say, well, am I going to waste time on looting when I can just buy an item for cheap, sell it for more, and make 10k in like two minutes? So again, the thing about being a non-gold member, gold member is eventually the game does get very stale. And that's why many non gold members end up quitting because they're like, what's the point of me putting all these hours if the guy with the gold members gets 200 credits automatically every month, which is equivalent to 4 mil without them even having to do anything for him monthly. So, yeah, those, those are the three cons and three pros of being a non gold member. And now, of course, there's a lot There's a lot of pros for gold members. I'm just going to go through three very, you know, obviously high up there's that I believe when it comes to being a gold member. Number one, of course, you get 200 credits every month, which is equivalent to 4 mil in game. So, I mean, of course, you're not going to have to loot as much or kill bosses because every month if you're a gold membership and paying for it, you get 200 credits automatically. So imagine that. 200 credits every month, you're not really suffering. 4 mil right there, you can buy a lot of weapons, a lot of ammo, and a lot of food which therefore can help you kind of progress even faster in the inner city. You don't have to go out there, I mean, and, and have to grind for hours because, again, you're getting four mil every single month. <laughs> so like me, I think I already have 400 credits accumulated because I haven't really, you know, sold them. So, yeah, crazy. Second pro is your loots increase dramatically. Well, not dramatically because, I mean... Even though your loot rates do increase just by a little margin, it's better now because you can now loot 120s, which again, they're not easily lootable, but you have a chance of finding 120s now, again, which is, you know, the legendary weapons. It's easier to find level 110s compared to a non-go membership, and it's a hell of a lot easier to loot with level 100 items. You know, compared to a non-go membership whose, lo whose rates are even lower on level 110 weapons, you know, level 100 items are really easy for the gold memberships to find. If you loot, you know, if you loot for two hours, you can easily make... 200k in the inner city you know just going around looting every single spot especially with a speed boost insane you can clear an area in about five not even five minutes but you can clear a building for example the second bunker in around 10 minutes easily if you just focus on the loot and not focus on the zombies and just go in there loot buy kill repeat so you'll make 200k easily in an hour or an hour and a half and again the other part is you level up even faster as well i mean you get an incredible experience boost on top of the drugs you have and also on top of the xp uh xp boost 
that's so you know we get more or less every weekend so of course our gold membership would just dominate every single player that is non-gold member it's a known fact you know it, again it is a pay to win game but gold membership honestly doesn't help you as much as you think and i'll get you that in a minute last but not least another good pro for the gold membership is it kind of does elevate the experience for different tier i mean like i said compared to a non-gold membership where you have better chances of finding stuff so when it comes to killing a boss which is guaranteed a loot there's a good good chance that you can honestly just find a 120 without you even trying on killing the boss not only that but like i said you get four mil every month so therefore you can easily afford boost you know drugs you can easily afford weapons that cost you know like two three mil so like i said when it comes to gold membership yes you get a high high advantage over non-gold memberships but honestly it's not that much as you guys think so you know many people always blame us gold memberships for saying oh if you didn't pay for this game you wouldn't be where you're at but that's not necessarily true because at the end of the day you know there's still some cons to gold membership and i'll go over that right about now so the first con for gold memberships is the loot Yes, I did say that gold memberships have a better chance of finding 120s, 110s, 100s, but in my eight years of experience of playing this game, I mean, honestly, it's not that overpowered when it comes to looting. I mean, again, if you know how to become an entrepreneur in different tier, I'd honestly rather take that than go out and looting. I mean, granted, you'll find better scraps, you'll find better, you know, more or less better loot, but the hours you have to put in looting is still insane. I mean, <laughs> back in the day when I used to do a lot of loot runs, it would take me at least a week to find a legendary. And that's me playing six, four hours a day, just straight up looting. So in other words, putting music in my background or a movie and just looting like a freaking madman. And let me tell you something, that gets stale over time. Would I make money? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, would I get bored eventually? 100%. After four hours, you know, that that's of me actually being dedicated to the game. I would just say, you know what, today I'm calling out quits and eventually, like I said, I'll go into a hiatus and not really loot for a long time because, again, that will burn me out. It will make the game very boring and with the overpowered weapons I have, it'll just get very stale. Second con for gold membership is it makes the game stale in a higher, in a more higher pace than non-gold memberships. So I guess I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering, what? Non-gold memberships? But they barely have the advantages that gold member has. Exactly. When you become a gold member, go member, everything just gets very easy fast. I mean, when you think about it, the zombies, the infected that are out there, they are not hard to kill. If you can, if you can buy a 577 Rex for 60k, it'll kill a Leaper in three to four hits. It'll kill Tundra in two hits. It'll kill more of the higher level and infected with three hits. So I mean, a Rex that costs 60k. And you, of course, you buy the ammo. For a gold member, that's really much nothing because, again, every month you're making four mil without them even having to go loot or kill. So eventually the game just gets still. And of course, the only reason for paying or playing the game is just to get even better equipment. But even then, you know, Wraith Cannon is 20k credits, 15k credits. Ultra Boost is like 500 mil, 200 mil. So at the end of the day, unless you're still putting hours into the game, gold membership really doesn't help you out that much in terms of, you know, progressing. It'll get you higher than the average non gold member. But in terms of like, skill wise or like economy wise not that much honestly i mean many of you guys are thinking oh but that's crazy go remember you're paying eight bucks a month exactly you're paying only eight bucks a month where a freaking you know rate can you gotta pay five hundred dollars for that freaking thing so again <laughs> it doesn't help you out as much guys and long uh, last but not least the last con for non go member i mean for a go member is i mean you're paying out of your own pocket. I mean, granted, if you like the game, eight bucks is eight bucks. But at the end of the day, that non-go member is paying nothing for the game, and the and the go member is. So again, eight dollars doesn't really appear that much, especially for most of us. But I mean, the guy isn't paying for anything. We are, you know, eight dollars a month, you know, and eventually you're gonna want more power. You're gonna want more better weapons, so you're gonna end up taking out the credit card or the debit card, whatever you have, and just end up spending more money than you think. I mean, back in the day when I was a middle schooler, I would actually save my lunch money and I wouldn't eat for a week or two to actually afford that five seven seven Rex because again, back then everything was expensive. But yeah, it, it would kind of hurt my stomach because I wouldn't have any food in there. <laughs> but I said, damn it, all in the name of Death Frontier and to get better things. So eventually, once you step into the gold member, you know, area. Yeah, you're gonna want to spend more money while the non go member which refuses to bet, uh, pay money for any game honestly won't feel it he'll just actually just put in the hours probably even get you know further beyond in any goal member because again once you have goal membership the game just becomes overwhelmingly easy so yeah uh last but not least it will be eventually you start paying in real life money for this game so yeah so in conclusion which is better go membership or non go membership I would say none to be honest at the end of the day in a game or with anything if you want to advance further you have to put in the hours you have to put in the work 
And don't get me wrong, you can always take out your credit card, debit card, and spend a thousand dollars in this game, and it'll get you a ton of gear. But I don't really see the sense in that because a five hundred, a thousand dollars is a lot of money, and I can do a lot more with a thousand dollars in real life than I will do in this game. I mean, I got everything. I mean, to be honest, I don't need anything else. I got the Ultra Boost, Wraith Cannon, but that was with eight years of playing this game. So when people tell me, "Oh, you're only there because you you pay for the game," I'm like, "Yeah, I mean, I paid, but I only pay for gold membership, and the things that I got is, are thanks to the clan." In other words, the most overpowered thing in this game isn't only money, but a clan. If a clan is willing to help you out to achieve these items, great. Because honestly, like I said, if it wasn't for Fear of the Perfect Dark, the clan I was in, I would have never gotten this further beyond. Not only that, but I bought the Desert Rat and Longshot when they were worth like 50 or 40 mil back in the day. So when I logged back in and I found out they were like 150 mil or 200 mil a piece, I went berserk, yo. I was like, damn. So like I said, knowledge is power for any game you play. So those non-go members that, you know, pretty much study the game all day, how to loot, how to grind, how many hours to, you know, pretty much, you know, boss hunt or how to become an entrepreneur. They'll get further than any other goal member because I go members just thinking with his with his money. You know, he's not thinking with his brain. So like I said, it might not be true for everybody. I'm not trying to diss on you guys, but it's just honestly more or less the average truth. I mean, for me, back in the day, I would have I wasn't thinking with my head. I would just take on my debit card or credit card. Nowadays, not really. If I learn how to become an entrepreneur in that frontier, great. I'll become a millionaire, billionaire in, in the span of a month because I learned how to do it. So like I said, knowledge is power. Go membership does give you a bit of an edge, but not as much as you think. You still have to go out there and loot. You still have to go out there and actually progress and level up and kill things. I mean, granted, you're still getting 200 credits a month, but it's not a lot, especially with this economy and that frontier where freaking 12.7 becomes 80k a pack or 100k a pack. 4 mil is not a lot, especially again in this economy and that frontier. So like I said, in conclusion, it's like go membership is always going to be better but i mean in terms of like skill base or like how much of a margin they're getting or how about uh, how much an advantage they're getting is not really a lot you know so yeah that's what i can think of so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this discussion video if you have any opinions i would always love to see them in the comment section below like the video subscribe and yeah if you, like i say if you have any opinions or suggestions in the in the comment section below leave them i always love having discussions you know and yeah see you guys in the next one all right sermon is signing off peace Oh,